Go. Okay. We're trying to prove here the exterior angle theorem. We're trying to prove that this angle on the outside is equal to these two angles, the remote interior angles. That's what we're going for. Now, for us to do this, we were first given that the ABC actually forms a triangle. That was given to us. And that line, or segment, or point D was on the ray coming out from BC. Okay, that was just the picture that we were drawing and given. Now, they told us that DBA, DBA, and ABC form a linear pair. How in the world could they come up with that? From the picture. We just looked at the picture. I had that one right. Yeah, you can. See? All right, together. From the picture, we can say that those two angles form a linear pair. Now, without me having to pull all my hair out, how does it help me to know that I have a linear pair? It means that they're supplementary. Very good. So I can come right on over. Right now, angle DBA. Angle ABC are supplementary. Why do I get to say that? <coughs> Don't do it to me. Uh, <coughs> supplement angle theorem. Thank you. Definition of a linear pair on going on. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. Thank Supplementary, how does that help me? Can you add the other one? Fantastic. Measure of angle D, B, A plus measure of angle A, B, C equals 180 degrees. Reason? Definition of supplementary angles. That's what it means to be supplementary. Now, I want you to look and try to figure out. Go ahead and stick your fingers on the ones on your pictures. Measure of angle A, that's here. Measure of angle C, that's here. Measure of angle A, B, C, A, B, C equals 180. What allows me to say that those three angles are equal to 180 degrees? Angle sum theorem. Angle sum theorem, why? What do they make? They make 180 degrees. Yeah, they make a triangle, they make a triangle. So this is our angle sum theorem. Very good. How do you spell theorem? Theorem. With an E and an O and an R-E-M. Right. Let's go. <laughs> now I want you to look at this. I said to do substitution on this. Here I've got something is equal to 180 degrees. Here I've got something is equal to 180 degrees. You can substitute by equal and equal. Set them equal to each other. Measure of angle D, B, A plus measure of angle A, B, C is equal to measure of angle A plus measure of angle C plus measure of angle A, B, C. Now the last one is the one that my kids have been having a real hard time with all day. Trying to figure out how did I get from 6 to 7. So what I recommend here is underlining what you have in 7, going back into 6 and underline what is the same. So and then in step seven, I've got measure of angle A plus measure of angle C. Well, I've got measure of angle A plus measure of angle C over there. Hold on, hold on. Let me get all the way there. All right. Oh, crap. I've got measure of angle DBA here and measure of DBA there. You got an ABC on both sides. What's it going to be? Thank you very much. Subtraction. Property. Subtracting measure of angle A, B, C. Good work.